Hey guys and girls, it's Dave from Two Average Dudes. Mike will be chiming in in a second. So my buddy Scott sent me this little video clip, and it's Jerry, I think it's, was it Jerry Diaz? Yeah, Jerry Diaz, uh, he's the uniform president, and he's telling Doug Ford F you. You know, there's there's class all the way, right? But, okay, let's let's... Let's think about this for a second. Why would you tell somebody you're trying to get money from? Okay, you're saying, help me, help me, help me. The next thing you turn around and go, F you! You know, if somebody ever did that to me and I had the purse strings, I would go, F you back, buddy. You're getting nothing. I would. I, I'd go right on the news and say, F you back. You get nothing. And I'd hold up a stack of bills and I'd say, see this? Goodbye! And I wouldn't give it to you, and I'd make sure everybody knew that you were the cause of this failure. Like, that is, that is childish. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of somebody doing that. And that's an embarrassment. Like, you know, the people were applauding and that. Why? Why? You just, you just pissed off somebody that might be able to help you. Jeez. You know... I hate, I hate the thought of GM going, and not because it's GM and it's a North American car, because, you know, I'm all for North America, Canada first. Like, I'm a nationalist, okay? I fully admit it, and there is nothing wrong with being a nationalist. But, you know, when GM's pulling out, like, yeah, it's going to be a lot of jobs. Like, they're saying, you know, two, 3,000 jobs, you know, well, there's likely going to be about 20,000 jobs that are affected. But uh, should we be held hostage? Each time GM threatens to pull out, we have to throw money at them every time. And Trudeau doesn't seem to be throwing money at them. And you know what? To me, like, I'm not a Trudeau fan, but I do applaud him for that, okay? Ford doesn't seem to be throwing money at them. And good for Ford! And like I say, I wouldn't throw money at them anyway after him saying that. But, you know, sometimes, like I said in our previous videos, sometimes you just gotta let it go. It's a bad investment. And you know what? I hope everybody realizes what GM is doing. And if they do pull out, I hope I don't see many GM cars. As much as I like North American cars, I hope I don't see a lot of GM cars around. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Because any company that does that, you know, and they say it's because of this carbon tax and everything else, maybe it is. But you know what? It's, it's time to let it go. It's time to start rebuilding with something that's sustainable not General Motors. Mike, what do you think? Hey, Dave. You know, you're right. It's kind of funny that here's a guy looking for Ford's help and looking for people's help and gets in the media and basically tells him to F off. You know, what a way to do some business. But as I read more of the story, I can see where Jerry Diaz is getting frustrated. We're in a very tense situation. We're not sure what's happening. You know, all his union workers are, you know, twenty-five to five thousand. You know, union twenty-five hundred to five thousand union workers going a lot of. It's a lot of money. Someone like Jerry Diaz in the union will lose. So, you know, there's also money involved here. So it makes people a little crazy, you know. But as I read the story, Doug Ford did go out to the media, okay, and and again said that Jerry Diaz gave all the union members his personal phone number, his personal cell phone number, and now he's getting inundated with calls every day. You know, that is a prick move by Doug Ford. You know, trying to say now that the government really can't help him because Jerry Diaz has done this and did that and gave his personal... You know, so it's just a terrible situation all around. And everybody needs to calm down before they speak. Everybody needs to think before they speak, before they say stuff like this, which will totally get them in trouble in the end. Like, guys, come on. Let's be adults about this. Let's be realistic. You know, it's not Jerry Diaz's fault. He's a union rep. It's not Doug Ford's fault. You know, he's the premier of, of Ontario. This is a large corporation doing this. A large private corporation whose goal is to make money and can choose to do what it wants to do in order to help its bottom line. So you have to sit back and look at it from that perspective. Yeah, GM has been here forever. Yeah, it used to employ 10,000, 15,000 people at the plant. You know, yeah, it might close down. 
But from a business perspective, they're not making money. They need to close down. You know, where I, where I see the problem at will be down the road. If they close the plant here, move it to some other country, and then we find out that they could have made a bunch of money here by using the plant here in Oshawa, then I'll be upset. But if they're not making money and they have to move the plant to make money to survive, to stay in business, then I totally agree with it. So only time will tell, you know, how this will play out in the end. But still, Jerry Diaz, think before you speak on TV. You know, that just makes you guys look bad now. Um, and it really hurts your fight. And good for you, government, standing up, not giving these guys money. Good for you to say, hey, it's not our job to fund private corporations. So stick with it, Ford. Trudeau, same as you. You're doing well so far. Can't complain about the way you're handling this uh, GM situation. So anyways, guys, thumbs up if you like our video. And subscribe and uh, wait for our next one. Thanks, guys.